part two. So here. I had avocados, but I don't know why I gave them to my mom. I took them to her house. Because um, when I bought them, they were already pretty soft, and avocados don't really last that long. So I figured they could eat them over there, but when I took them over there, they already had a lot of avocados, and right now I can probably use one. It's okay. Hopefully they eat them. And then me and my mom ain't talking again, probably for like another month or two. Who knows? seasoning marinate inside of it I guess can't wait to show you guys what I do with the Cheez-Its <clears throat> so it's not quite ready yet that'd be delicious I wish I mean I could eat it like that but I'll put it in a sandwich avocado would have really set it off even the black beans, but that's a little too much for right now. So I want these to get a little softer. Oh shit. Splashing. But... This is gonna need two plates. All the stress is aging me. That's okay. It's about how you feel inside, I guess. I made a song saying pretty is just a feeling. One of my songs that I made. I like that bar. Actually, it's pretty dope. Huh? Off, off, off. There you go. Nice. It overflowed a little bit on both sides, but it's okay. You gotta sit there. Oops. I get enough of these crackers. Let me not put them away. dropped you and I caught you at the same time. Mm. So I'm gonna open this. You see how that says it's, it, it's, um, it's expired in March. You see that? It's because the 4th of March, 2021. I had bought two of these the last time I went to the store, which was probably like two weeks ago. 
And that other one said it was expired like a week later, which is weird. This one's March, which is January, February, March, three months away. So I should have, that was my fault. So pretty much I wasted a whole, I didn't eat it even if it was after, I don't know, I just don't eat it after the date. So what the date's for, it says it's old, so I just wasn't feeling it. I just wasn't really home that much to just eat stuff, to just like eat sandwiches. And I buy the family pack, because usually I, uh, I eat a lot, but I said I bought too much, and I felt kind of bad, so I threw it away. If I had, like, family just to give it away, I would, but... Um, okay, so that's cooking over there. kind of wanted to strain it, but maybe I'll just transfer the noodles to a bowl and slide them in. I want to get it while it's hot so it can melt the cheese, so let me put you down real quick. So I like these little things, so they have the paper helps you pull off the cheese. This might sound bad, but I think the sugary, um, the sugary apple juice kind of made my, made my stomach hurt, especially mixed with the uh, crackers. So. I'm just looking kind of for a burp right now. I work out a lot. I mean, I go running. I go running pretty far, which I consider it pushing my body pretty hard. And I don't really eat that well. So I'm looking for a burp. There you go. So I'm going to put the noodles in a, in a bowl. So that way I could... Uh, Am I strain it, you know? Okay, what you doing? This might sound kind of sad, but in jail, usually you'll get hot water, and the, like they they don't they don't give you a cup of noodles. They give you the noodles that you just seen right now. So like this, so and you just pretty much open this part, and you just pour the water in there and let it sit. So like kind of like a quarter or maybe I don't know. I'm not that good at math, but like a quarter of it won't be underwater. So like, it's kind of still together when you put it in the sandwich. It's not like this, you see how it's all, it's, it's just like, it's, it's, it's not like, it doesn't, didn't keep its shape. But in jail, when you have this, you put it in the bag, the water and let it sit there until it gets soft, as soft as it can, pretty much so the water gets cold. And then, it, so, but it keeps its shape and you just lay it on the sandwich, so. A lot different than this. This is kind of like a sloppy Joe. So, 
That's what I'm gonna do, so we could uh, melt. So the cheese can melt. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not gonna be able to eat too. Not at all. Okay. So let's do this again. Separated, so yeah, this one doesn't have that much, so it's not gonna be as messy. But that cheese right there, that cheese right there is most definitely gonna melt, it's gonna melt for sure. So, this is, I mean, for some, would be kind of more ideal. Let me do the, uh, let me do this now. So this is what we do with this. We crunch these up as much as we can. So I'm gonna put these down real quick. Make them sore. My, my two sisters started this like, it's like, you know, there's, there's certain gyms that you pay, but then you do like a challenge. If you lose a certain amount of weight, they give you like a free month or, I'm not sure. But they started a new challenge and my oldest sister, she's really sore. So I thought about her right now because when I took a knee, I was sore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, weird hand. Look at my pinky, it's crooked. I played a lot of football, so it just damaged over time. This is normal, I guess. open in a little bag. So. Crunch them as much as you can. It's just the juice from the soup, so I'm gonna do it in the sink real quick, okay? This is perfect, it's very hot. And what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to make a cheese. It's supposed to melt the cheese it's and it becomes like a squeezed cheese. So we just kinda, kinda help it out a little bit. I need to add more water. I might have added too much, but I can always pour some out. But it's very, very hot. Very, very hot. So but for some reason, a lot of times, like stuff at the 99 kind of doesn't do what you want it to do. I'm not sure why, but we'll see. Oh, it looks like it's working. So, like I said, I might have put too much. I'm not sure. Yeah, I bite my nails. I know they don't look too bad or too embarrassing, I guess. <laughs> okay. 
the one that could know was let it sit. I think that's what we did, we let it sit, I'm not sure. It's okay. I don't really like pickles, but I know we used to mix the pickles inside the spread. And it was pretty fire. So this is just a manwich though. Like in jail, when you made a manwich, it was kind of like a selfish thing. It's kind of like a, well, I'm gonna just make a sandwich just for me. And you might've made one for like a, your bunkie or someone that was close to you. But spreads are more like to share with everybody, you know, or more people. Okay, so just give me what I wanted. I'm not sure. It's pretty thick, so I'm gonna add more. I'm not sure. Pretty thick. Yeah, it's really thick, so let's let's just kind of see how it is. It's my first time, maybe a couple of tries I'll make it better. So kinda Oh yeah, looks good. And it's thick. This one's gonna look better because it's it's not as um too many noodles. Yeah, I could have uh Easily, uh, probably could have put more water, but mm -hmm. well, let me put this down. Let me get it all out. Second to last, but definitely not second to least. Um, a mandatory challenger, Mr. Lettuce himself. I'm sure you guys looking at me. I mean, I'm sure you guys like looking at me, so I'm gonna make sure that I'm taking a knee for you guys, okay? I don't mean it in the uh, Henry Sehudo way, taking any. I mean it so the camera can see me. That's wonderful. I think I'm gonna eat the small one first. Right. I always found it like, let's say you ordered, like say you, are, you ordered a plate from Chinese food. There's always like that gray area where you could stop now and you have a pretty good decent meal to, um, to eat later or you eat too much of it and you're so full but you couldn't make you couldn't make it to the finish line and it just looks like one piece of orange chicken and like a little bit of rice and a little bit of chow mein it's kind of like do i save it do i just try to stuff it in you know but then you could have stopped when you were already kind of feeling full when you had maybe like 30 30 to 35 percent left and it would have been a pretty good meal for later but so maybe i should just eat the smaller one except that uh monstrosity right there. You're so stupid for getting a tattoo of that guy. You're an idiot. <laughs> 